Yo guys, welcome back. It's Jeff Master Flash. Welcome to Monza. It is dry as always because this is a dry setup video. This is the setup that I would use if I was about to race Monza. Uh, Monza, we all know, uh, for those that race there, is a very difficult circuit. And uh, difficult for one reason and one reason only as I slam on the anchors. Otherwise, I was going to hit the back of the Ferrari. Uh, this little chicane section here um difficult traction uh, but if you get it right you can gain loads of time going into the next chicane but the next chicane is where it all goes horribly wrong um the curb you hit that curb on the inside as i'm getting battered by gasly and uh i get the warning for it thanks for that uh, yes but that chicane that curb in that chicane section if you don't take it right you are going to get launched into the air as you see me get on the old asking Jeff whether um, a car has damage or not because I hit like that twice I hit the weather report because I'm special but yeah um, now I'm asking Jeff for the vehicle condition because a hit like that uh, can quite easily give you um, wing damage and that's not something you want around Monza where as you need every possible bit of downforce uh, or lack of downforce that you need um, setup is at the end of the video like always but you can get away with running uh, extremely low wings around uh, Monza um, that's the beauty of Monza it really really is I do like Monza as a circuit but unfortunately the curbs are just a little bit brutal probably has one of the worst curbs ever um, in my opinion uh, there are some sketchy real sketchy curbs out there it really is um, but yeah then two they are probably a set of the worst <laughs> they probably are a set of the worst in my opinion because they are just awful I think uh, as well um, I think I make an error or a mistake on lap three which allows uh, the AI to get completely away from me. I think I lock up going into the chicane section and they can get away from me from that. But with that all being said, um, going through the chicane, I was noticing that the AI was gaining at least two tenths on me. And how is that possible? I don't know. It, it's as if sometimes uh, tyre uh, degradation or tyre overheating or downforce doesn't seem to apply to these guys as for a moment I'm gonna set the fastest lap of a 21.8 uh, I don't hold the fastest lap though I think the fastest lap is a 21.5 I think my teammate Lance Stroll gets it as I add a little bit of a moment into that chicane which allowed Gasly to get away from me and I think I lock up then going into the chicane which isn't great however the setup is one that I would 100% use if I was going to. There we go. I bumped the, bumped that little thing, and it allows Gazi to get away. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, that's it. So I'm out of the DRS. He will have DRS, so he's going to be pulled along by um, everyone in front, and then that's my own fault for making or causing the error. Small margins big gains in F1 that's where I found this year but yeah um, it is where it is unfortunately I've not got a Monza race coming up I don't think uh, I might have something in WOR but I know uh, Monza isn't happening uh, in BRS but if I was to race Monza the setup at the end of the video would be the setup I use and yeah hopefully everything's all good guys as always, do all that good stuff. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share away if you want. Um, let me know what you think of the setup down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.
meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. 